Hey there, starlings. This is Jess from Capella Wellness, here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. Um, for those who have never been to my sector of the universe before, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those who are returning for another divine masculine channeled letter, welcome back. Thank you for rejoining me. Okay, so if you don't know how this works already, I'm going to channel messages from a particular Divine Masculine Collective um, via automatic writing, okay? So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be channeling all the messages that come in and a lot tends to come in fast. My hand will hurt. It will be um, quite a bit of messages I'll be channeling, but please be patient as I go through the written parts of the channeling Partway through or whenever spirit tells me to stop, I will stop writing. I will read to you the messages. I will show you the notebook page. And if they ask me to continue writing, I will continue writing. If they ask me to stop, I will stop. That being said, I will pull additional uh, message cards for the Divine Masculine if I'm called to do so. Also, if... Um, not if. I'm going to do something differently this time around. I'm going to pull songs from the Divine Masculine. They want me to dedicate songs from them to you, Divine Feminine. Um, so while we're going to do this is I want you guys to pick one of these three objects, either a lotus flower, a star, or a... Um, angel wing. Again, a lotus flower, a star, or an angel wing. Meditate on it. Whatever is calling to you, the first thing that comes to your mind, pick that object, okay? Later on in the reading, I am going to pull a dedicated song from, a song dedication, I should say, from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine, based on the object that you are most drawn to, okay? So we will do that. Also, for those of you who leave a comment in the comments section um, with a question as to what you would want to ask the Divine Masculine, I will pick five people at random and I will pull either another song dedication card for you or I will pull a romance angel, depending on what I'm called to. So if you want to leave a question, I will pick five people at random in the comment section and I will give you, it'll be like another bonus reading specifically for you, okay? So let's get right into it because I know it was a long intro. Thank you for listening and give me a few seconds, a few minutes to center myself and channel whatever masculine collective I need to channel for this automatic writing. Okay, thank you so much for being patient.
Okay. They want me to stop there for now. All right. This is what we've got so far. Can you see that? Okay. Hello, beautiful. Wow, you have no idea how amazing I feel right now. I cannot wait to show you who I have become. This journey we have both embarked on has been incredible. I am so thankful that I have awoken to the wonderment of God and spirit and the magic of the universe. I have completed my healing, darling, and I want you to know you have been a catalyst in my transformation. Like the death card, yes, I have been watching tarot readings on YouTube, smiley face. I have profoundly changed. And man, have I changed. I have prayed every single day to get the courage and strength to overcome and defeat my demons and rise up so that I can greatly heal myself and my past. I am so grateful for this new opportunity to live life anew in ways I've never dreamed of. From the first day we met, I was drawn to you like a moth to a flame. I didn't know then you would be the one sent to me to help me heal and let go of the past, to let go of this chaotic and unhealthy life I once lived. I am incredibly blessed and I know now what you mean to me. I cannot wait to start a family with you, to have children with you, and to live a life gloriously and harmoniously. Wow, uh, I need a minute because my hand is really achy. <laughs> Woo. All right, here we go.
All right. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many masculines have so many things to say. Okay. <laughs> um, the spirit wants me to stop there. I'm going to channel some other things, but I'll explain in a minute. We left here with harmoniously, right? Okay. I was so fearful of losing you. You have no idea. To add to that, the loss of you broke my heart so much. I felt miserable and could barely eat and sleep. I was killing myself emotionally because I thought you had left me for good. But now that I have seen everything for what it really is, I was able to use that so-called lost opportunity and transmute that lower vibrational energy into creativity so that I could finally discover my life's purpose. At times, I allow the thought of you loving another man to destroy me, but thank God I came back around. My love, you are the sunshine of my life. Just so you know, I would kill for you. I really would. There is nothing more in life that I want than to be with you. So please make me the happiest man in the world and give me another chance. I am planning to come forward soon and want to ask you out on a date. I want to give back to you what you've given to me. On a side note, I have been playing a lot of songs that remind me of you and have a long, what does that say? And have a long list of song dedications for you. If you don't already know, I have been sending you messages via songs for a very long time. Get ready, baby girl. Your emperor is on his way. Wow, feminines. This kind of like coincides with my twin flame reading that I did um, this week. Okay, so what they want me to do, I'm going to channel some names, some objects, colors, whatever. If you saw my last um, channeled letter, you know what this is. Um, for those of you who have no idea what's going on, I'm going to start writing some crazy things. Whatever comes to mind, Spirit was going to give me stuff and I'm going to jot it down. If there are names here and you don't resonate with those names, it's okay. Not everything here that I have written is going to resonate with you. Trust your intuition. You will feel tingly. You will feel light. You will get the smile on your face when you know exactly what part of this um, is for you, okay? So I'm going to start writing some stuff down um, to conclude the automatic writing portion of this. So here we go. Um, I'm running out of room. Oh, I'm going to have to go to the top here. Um, (laughs) 
This is funny. There's a lot coming in, guys. Sorry. There's a lot. Oh, my God. Um, Okay, guys, <laughs> well, just wait. You'll find out why I'm laughing. Oh my goodness. I love doing these, actually. Okay, names that came in. Thomas, Jackie, Belinda, Alex, Jamie, Janie, Jack, Melissa, Aaron, Carlos, Veronica, Leslie, Bob, Brandon, Jaina, again, that name came up last time, Jeremy, Jason, Chris, Christina Lucas. The other stuff I got were dogs, rainbows, chickens, Porsche, red daisies, roses, fight club, balloons, April, May, cars, and oh, I'm running into that. Sports, vacation, Stevie Wonder, Nick Jonas, Foreigner, hamburgers, pillows. Sorry guys, it's a little hard because I'm running into stuff here. That says lubricant. <laughs> Palm trees, boats, sunshine, somebody's going on vacation, nosebleeds, tickles, laughter, green machine, hamster. Okay, maybe somebody here has a hamster. All right. That's it for the automatic writing portion of this. I'm now going to pull song dedication cards from the Divine Masculine. All right, you have your um, object in mind. Hopefully you do. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna put the letter here so I can shuffle. If you don't know, go back towards the beginning of the reading to pick your object, okay? I forgot to mention to you guys, if you stick around and just wait for me to finish writing, that it's always good to meditate and um, tap into the energies of your divine masculine and send him unconditional love as this is being done. Because as I'm getting the messages from this particular collective, um, you channeling into this, I will pick up on your energies as well. And usually that allows me to pick up stuff straight from your masculine. Um, that's usually kind of how I start, um, how this kind of works and, and how the energies work with regards to how I conduct my automatic writing readings. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Lotus Flower. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, please reveal to me for our highest good. What song does the Divine Masculine want to dedicate to the feminine who picked the Lotus Flower? please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Cody and Syrians, please reveal to us. All right. <laughs> I love it. For those of you who picked the lotus flower, this is your masculine's dedication to you. Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. Baby, I'm hot just like an oven. I need some loving and baby, I can't hold it much longer. It's getting stronger and stronger. I would have sang this, but I wasn't too sure. I mean, I know the song, but anyway, this is not a singing video. Maybe I'll do it for another one, who knows. Anyway, this is your song dedication for you feminines who picked the lowest flower. There's a lot of sexual energy here, what I'm getting. That's why lubricant came out. <laughs> this is hysterical, you guys. 
that's why lubricant came out because you're gonna need a lot out of it and that's all i'm gonna say about that because this masculine here oh he is ready he's ready he's ready make sure you stock up on that lubricant okay <laughs> i can't believe i said that all right spirit guys angels for the feminines who picked the star what song does their masculine want to dedicate to them please and thank you oh. thank you for your wisdom your guidance your support and your clarity what song does the masculine want to dedicate to the feminine who picked the star Okay, feminines, it looks like the masculine wants to dedicate three songs to you. The first one is Endless Love by Lionel Richie and Diana Ross. Two hearts, two hearts that beat as one. Our lives have just begun and forever, forever, I'll hold you close in my arms. I can't resist your charms. That's a nice song. Actually, I've been running into this song, which is interesting. Um, oh, this is an awesome song. Against All Odds by Phil Collins. So take a look at me now. Well, there's just an empty space and there's nothing left here to remind me. Just the memory of your face. Um, yeah. Take a look at me now because they've changed. That's why they were saying... He said here, I cannot wait to show you whom I have become. Right? They've changed. They want you to see how much they have changed. So you pull these songs up, guys. If you don't know them, read the lyrics, play them, all that good stuff. The third one is, oh my God, guys, look. Stevie Wonder. Didn't I channel? Stevie Wonder. He's right there. <laughs> How crazy is this? I just called to say I love you. No New Year's Day to celebrate. No chocolate covered candy hearts to give away. No first of spring. No song to sing. In fact, here's just another ordinary day. No April rain. I said April too. No flowers bloom. No wedding Saturday within the month of June. But what it is, is something true made up of these three words that I must say to you. Which is, I love you. All right, feminines, for those who picked the star. All right. Spirit guides, angels. What song does the masculine want to dedicate to the feminine that picked the angel wings? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Spirit guides and angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal to me for my highest good and the collector's highest good. What song does the masculine want to dedicate to the feminine who picked the angel wings? All right. Oh gosh, I love this song too. Um, actually, I think I've been picking up this song from my masculine. Your Song by Elton John. Oh my gosh, this is a wonderful song. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. I don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. If I was a sculptor, but then again, no or a man who makes potions in a traveling show. Oh, I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my song and this one's for you. See, I sang it, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Now you can tell everybody, this is your song. Anyway, you know what I'm getting from this? The masculine wrote a song for you. Apparently this has been in the works for a very long time. For those of you who picked the angel wings, I am getting very strongly that for a lot of the masculines here who are dedicating the song to you, they wrote a song for you. So look out for this. 
If this has already happened or this happens to you this week or whenever, please let me know in the comment section because I would just go crazy. Okay, so if you don't know this song, go look it up. It's one of the best songs Elton John has ever done. Okay. Oh, you know what the masculines are telling me? They forgot. I forgot. They want me to pull messages from this deck. Okay. They're like, we have more messages. We have more messages. I'm telling you, the collective that I'm tapping into right now, you guys, they are so excited. <laughs> you have no idea. I didn't expect this channel letter to last this long and that freaking motorcycle keeps going by. Excuse it. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Um, kind of just broke my mojo here. <laughs> they are so excited. They are so, so excited to show you what they have done in their lives, how much they have changed. Oh my gosh, spirit guides, angels, what else do the um, masculines want to say to the feminines, please? And thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your song, and your clarity. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, what else? Do the masculines want to say to the feminines? They are so, so excited. If this whole deck falls out, I would laugh. What else do the masculines want to say? They told me to pick up the deck. They have, they told me they want more messages. They're trying to figure out what the best ones <laughs> I'm getting right now. We're trying to figure out, trying to get the best set of cards to come flying out. All right, masculines. What else? I felt ashamed from my strong sexual lusting after you. That's one thing that they're going to confess because that's kind of what happened before. Have you still got any romantic feelings for me? So yeah, some of them are, I think for some, this is still kind of lingering in their energy because it's been so long and for a lot of you there's been no contact. So while they may be getting telepathic messages from you, maybe they're not entirely sure if you actually still feel for them the way that you do. The bottom of the deck. I want to give you my sincere love. This is really, this is overall energy because they really want to give you this. That's why they're so excited and they're just so um, in their element where they just want to give you the world and they are so happy with what they've accomplished. And this is what they all, they just really want to give you this, but it's not just any type of love. It's sincere love. It's unconditional love that they want to give to you guys. Um, yeah, see, look, at the bottom, I want to spend time with you. Your loss broke my heart. I channeled that in the letter. See, I'm a picture of misery because of our separation. I talked about how he was feeling miserable. This goes along with the, the Marvin Gaye song, I want, you to, to, I want you to devote yourself sexually to me. Now, don't take this the wrong way. It's just a matter of this is a different type of sexual union, sexual relationship that you guys are going to have because it could be very tantric in nature and there's going to be a lot more spirituality involved in this. So this doesn't tie into what they used to think of you sexually or what they wanted from you sexually if you and your masculine actually had that type of um, those types of encounters in the past, look, I would kill for you right underneath that one. I would kill for you. That's what I said. I looked into your eyes for the first time and instantly fell in love with you. I mourn and cry about having lost you. Yeah, we talked about that. He cried a lot. There was a lot of heartbreak and despair because you walked away. But that was supposed to be 
that tower moment, right? To get things going as to why this led to the masculine transforming very, very profoundly. Okay, so remember, if you forgot, leave a comment in the comment section with a question that you want to ask about your divine masculine or any comment at all. It doesn't have to be a question. I will pick five people from those who, oh, you also have to like this video and make a comment. I'm sorry, I rephrased that. Please like the video and comment in the comment section and I will pick five people, whoever I am drawn to, and for those five people, you will be the lucky winners of a free mini bonus reading, okay? Either I will pick a romance card or another song dedication card for you guys. I might even pick both. I'm going to let spirit decide, okay? So go ahead and leave a comment. Thank you so, so very much for joining me for another channel letter from your Divine Masculine. Thank you for being here, for liking, illuminating the thumbs up icon. And for your time, I greatly appreciate it. I wish you all the best today and always. And I wish you a wonderful week. I send you guys so, so much love to both you and your masculine. And I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starting out.